Hi friends, hello and welcome to Quadratic Equations Part 2. Uh, an important topic from CAT standpoint. In the last part, we have done the basics. And in this part, we will cover all the key CAT questions of quadratic equations. So from the last four to five years, whatever has been part of CAT, let us revise it in one video. Quadratic, as you are all aware, is a very important part of algebra, is also the backbone of algebra and also gets quite a few questions in CAT. So let's see and let's try and solve these questions. Suppose one root of the equation ax square minus bx plus c equal to 0 is 2 plus root 3 where a, b, c are rational numbers. If b is equal to c cube then mod a equals what? Now we know that the roots of a quadratic exist in conjugate pairs. So if one root is 2 plus root 3, the other should be 2 minus root 3. Right? You have seen the roots also minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. Right? So there is a plus, there is a minus. Similarly, if one root is 2 plus root 3, the other is 2 minus root 3. Therefore, sum of the roots minus b by a will be equal to 4 and product of roots c by a will be equal to multiplication of these two which is equal to 1. So b is equal to minus 4a and c is equal to a. b is equal to c cube. So we can say that minus 4a is equal to a cube. Now if b is equal to c cube, if we have, so we have a minus of minus, so we'll have a plus here. So this will be plus 4a. We know that a is not equal to 0. So if we eliminate that a square is equal to 4. So a is equal to root over 4. So what will be mod a? Mod a will be equal to 2. Answer is answer option A. This was from cat 21. Let's move forward. x square plus mx plus 2n is equal to 0. And x square plus 2nx plus m equal to 0 have real roots. Whenever you see this condition, one thing that should strike you is discriminant greater than equal to 0. In the first case, b square minus 4ac. So m square greater than equal to 8n. And second case, we can write 4n square greater than equal to 4m. So n square greater than equal to m. And here we have m square greater than equal to 8n. We have to get the smallest possible value of m plus n. We know that m and n are positive integers. So let's try and let's try and see. If I take n is equal to 1, I'll take m is equal to 1. Then it this will not get satisfied. Therefore, this solution is not valid. Let's increase n. Let's take n is equal to 2. So 2 square is greater than equal to I have to take here a number. Think about it. I have to take m as big as possible because we have an 8 here. Right? So I'll have to take m as big as possible. Let's take m is equal to 4. So 2 square greater than equal to 4. This satisfies. Right? So now if I put m is equal to 4 here, 16 greater than equal to 8 into what's the value of n? 2. So this also satisfies. So the smallest value that I can take, n is equal to 2 and m is equal to 4. The answer to this question is 6. Keep moving forward to the next question. The number of integers that satisfy the equation x square minus 5x plus 7 power x plus 1 is equal to 1. Think about it. How? What are the possibilities? We can take this base as 1. So 1 raised to the power some number is equal to 1. So x square minus 5x plus 7 is equal to 1. x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Two solutions, 2 and 3. Right? So that is one thing. Second, another thing can be, let's say a number n raised to the power 0 will also be 1. So let's take this one. So x plus 1 equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 1. Another solution. What else can happen? Another thing that can happen is if I have minus 1 in the base and even power in the uh, even power, then also I'll get a 1. So if I put x square minus 5x plus 7 is equal to minus 1 x square minus 5x plus 8 equal to 0. But in this case, I am not getting an integer solution, right? I have to get a number of integers. So here, no integers. So number of solutions in this case is equal to 3, right? Keep moving forward to the next question. In how many ways can a pair of integers x comma a be chosen such that x square minus 2 mod x plus mod of a minus 2 equal to 0. 
Now x square can also be written as mod x square because both of them are always positive. If I write mod x equal to y then y square minus 2y let us represent this by k just for simplification simplification so y becomes 4 plus minus root over b square which is 4 minus 4k divided by 2 into a right so i hope this is absolutely absolutely clear think about it now i have minus b so this will become 2 plus minus root over 4 minus 4k so this is 1 plus I take 4 common it gets divided so plus minus root over 1 minus k that's the value of y and we know that k is equal to mod of a minus 2 very very simply I can tell you one thing very very simply if I have to get a real root here the value of mod a minus 2 can either be 0 or it can be 1 let's take the first case when mod a minus 2 is equal to 0 in that case what will happen in that case the value of y will be 1 plus minus root over 1 so it can be either 2 or it can be 0 and you know that y is nothing but mod x so if mod x is equal to 2 it means that x is equal to plus minus 2 or it is equal to 0 and if I have mod a minus 2 is equal to 0 it only means a is equal to 2 so how many solutions already in the first case two solutions here and one solution so three solutions already second case when I take mod a minus 2 is equal to 1 when I take mod a minus 2 is equal to 1 in that case what will happen in that case the value of y becomes 1 I have a 1 here so this part becomes 0 so y is equal to 1 mod x is equal to 1 so x is equal to plus minus 1 and here mod a minus 2 is equal to 1 so here also you will get two solutions a is equal to 3 also works a is equal to 1 also works right so 2 into 2 so in the second case 2 into 2 4 solutions so total number of solutions here is 7 I hope this is clear to you brilliant question one of the best in the last 4 to 5 years moving forward x plus 1 by x whole square let's represent this by y y square minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 so y is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 x plus 1 by x equal to 2 or x plus 1 by x equal to 1 by using am greater than equal to gm we can say that x plus 1 by x greater than equal to 2 only possible value can be this so the number of distinct real solutions will be 1 again moving forward how many distinct positive integers valued solutions exist to the equation again similar question we've seen so what can I do I can take this base to be equal to 1 so 1 raised to the power n is equal to 1 so x square minus 7x plus 11 is equal to 1 if I take so x square minus 7x plus 10 becomes equal to 0 so x is equal to 5 x is equal to 2 so two solutions I've already got here remember I have to get distinct positive integer solutions right so that's that's very very important second scenario can be any number raised to the power 0 so x square minus 13 x plus 42 equal to 0 so I'll get x is equal to 6 x is equal to 7 so two solutions from here also third case can be I take the base to be minus 1 raised to the even power so x square minus 7 x plus 11 is equal to minus 1 so x square minus 7 x plus 12 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 4 x is equal to 3 two solutions I've got here but for these solutions the power must be even otherwise it is not the solution right so we put x is equal to 4 here this becomes 16 minus 52 plus 42 16 minus 52 plus 42 even put x is equal to 3 9 minus 39 plus 42 so this is minus 30 again even so for both these power is even so therefore two solutions two solutions two solutions total number of distinct positive integer solutions is equal to so 2 3 4 5 6 7 all of these are the solutions moving forward 
ए बी आर रियल नंबर रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन आर रियल एंड डिस्टिंक्ट रियल एंड डिस्टिंक्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेंट ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो बी स्क्वायर विच इज सिक्सटीन माइनस फोर सो प्लस फोर लॉग ए बेस टू राइट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो फोर लॉग ए बेस टू इज ग्रेटर देन माइनस सिक्सटीन सो दिस बिकम्स माइनस फोर सो वी कैन से दैट ए इज ग्रेटर देन टू टू द पावर माइनस फोर ए इज ग्रेटर देन वन बाई सिक्सटीन द आंसर इज आंसर ऑप्शन सी हियर द क्वाड्रेटिक एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी हैज टू रूट्स फोर ए एंड थ्री ए वेर ए इज एन इंटीजर सम ऑफ द रूट्स इज सेवन ए सो सेवन ए कैन बी गिवन एज माइनस बी और बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन ए एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रूट्स इज सी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व ए स्क्वायर द क्वेश्चन इज बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी बिकम्स सिक्सटी वन ए स्क्वायर वेरी वेरी क्लियरली इफ यू सी आंसर ऑप्शन बी इज सिक्सटी वन इन टू नाइन क्लियरली सेटिस्फाइज ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो वेरी वेरी सिंपल आंसर ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर हियर द नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन मॉड एक्स सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ थिंक अबाउट इट आई कैन राइट मॉड एक्स हियर आई कैन राइट सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन आई कैन राइट फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर एज फाइव मॉड एक्स स्क्वायर बिकॉज एक्स स्क्वायर और मॉड एक्स स्क्वायर इज जस्ट द सेम थिंग नाउ Here, if I, you know, if you think about it, mod x, if I, you know, take it away, so one solution is x is equal to zero. Mod x is equal to zero means x is equal to zero, right? Second thing, if I take again, mod x is equal to y. In that case, this becomes six y square minus five y plus one is equal to zero. So, six y square. Minus three y minus two y plus one is equal to zero. So I'll take three y common two y minus one minus one two y minus one is equal to zero. So y is equal to one by three. Y is equal to one by two. So y is equal to mod x. So I'll get two solutions from here. I'll get two solutions from here, and one I have already got. So the number of solutions is equal to five. Remember, it's not asking integer solutions. So I can count these also. Right, so there are five solutions here. Moving forward, the product of distinct roots of x square minus x minus six is equal to x plus two. Brilliant question. I have a mod here, so this will be x minus three into x plus two. So the roots are minus two and three. If you understand some basics of inequalities, you know that this will be positive here, negative here, positive here. Right. If you've not seen inequalities video, do check it out to clear your concepts. Here, let's take the positive regions first. In the positive regions, this will become x square minus x minus six equal to x plus two. So x square minus two x minus eight is equal to zero. So x minus four into x plus two equal to zero. So x is equal to four and x is equal to minus two. Right. So the two solutions that I can take is four and minus two. Correct. So both of them I can take as the solutions. Correct. Now second case when it is negative, let's take the negative one. So in that case it will become x square minus x minus six, and you will have a minus here, equal to x plus two. So you can take the minus other side. This becomes minus x minus two. So minus x cancelled here. X square is equal to six minus two. So x square is equal to four. So x equal to Two x is equal to minus two. You've taken minus two here already. You have to take distinct roots, so you can't take this. So what will be the product? Product will be four into two into minus two, eight into minus two minus sixteen. That's the answer. Answer option B here. U square plus eight, some here square, and again, so you have to solve U plus three B. We have no other option but to you know expand this. So let's do that. So is U square. Plus four v square plus one minus four u v plus four v minus two u is equal to minus four u v minus four v square, right? So here this is getting cancelled. Now think about it. So this becomes two u square 
I have a 4v square here plus 4v square so becomes 8v square I have minus 2u here and I have plus 4v here I have a plus 1 so now what we'll have to do is we'll have to we can convert this into perfect square right that is the only way I can get some solution here so if I take 2 common I can write it as u square now 2 into u into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 whole square I am just converting it to perfect squares plus I take a 8 common v square this becomes v by 2 so 2 into v into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 whole square so quite simply this becomes u minus half whole square and this becomes 8 v plus 1 by 4 whole square equal to 0 two perfect squares sum of two perfect squares can be equal to 0 only if they are individually 0 so the value of u is half the value of v is minus 1 by 4 u plus 3v u is half 3v is minus 3 by 4 so this becomes 2 by 4 so this becomes minus 1 by 4 the answer is answer option d here keep moving forward the minimum possible value of the sum of the squares of the roots of the equation so let's say the roots are p plus q the roots are pq so p plus q will become sum of roots minus a plus 3 product of roots minus a plus 5 I have to get p square plus q square very simple take p, p plus q whole square that becomes a square plus 6a plus 9 and 2pq becomes minus 2a minus 10 so p square plus q square will be p plus q whole square minus 2pq that becomes a square 6a plus 2a 8a 9 plus 10 19 I have to get the minimum value here convert it into perfect square or you use minus b by 2a either is fine so this becomes a plus 4 whole square plus 3 if you convert it into perfect square this perfect square will be ha will be having minimum value of 0 so the minimum value of the overall quadratic expression is 3 the answer is answer option c here moving forward x plus 1 is equal to x square so x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 minus b plus minus so I'll have to take only plus 1 because x is greater than 0 so plus root over 1 minus so plus 4 upon 2 so this becomes 1 plus root 5 by 2 x square square it 1 plus 5 6 plus 2 root 5 by 4 square it again x to the power 4 x is 36 and 2 into 2 is 4 into 5 is 20 so 56 plus I have uh, 2 into 6 is 12 into 2 is 24 so 24 root 5 divided by I have a 16 here I have to take 2x to the power 4 so let's now simplify this so if I take 8 7 times 3 times and I have a 2 times so 2x to the power 4 is 7 plus 3 root 5 answer is answer option D with that we come to the end of this part do check out time speed distance basics in the next part I hope you enjoyed it revise all the key cat questions of quadratic in this part I hope you know, you will really revise it and do it once yourself as well. Thanks. God bless you all. Bye-bye.